he didn't get a story that was out of his own world, he would lose himself in his own world. And that story seemed to him Kansas. It was so far away from what he was doing that it sort of woke him up. In Cold Blood is the story of these six people who died together on November 15, 1959. And my book is the story of their lives and their deaths. He steps entirely outside his world, his comfort zone, and even his genre. He called it a nonfiction novel, but until that moment, novels had been <laughs> precisely fiction. Once you blend fiction and nonfiction, things get a little slippery, you know? It is dangerous. This is a new adventure of mine, this experiment. It's what I call the nonfiction novel. He did a thing that journalists do, which is to engrace yourself with people whom you don't know, who, who you hope never to see again, but you want to be their best friend just now because you need to get something from them, a quote, a story. The difference with Truman Capote was that he did it over a six-year period and that he did it to most of Kansas.